It looks something like this. Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. Last week I did a series of Instagram stories and I was talking about my coffee maker and I have never gotten so many requests in the, how long have I been running a blog now? Eight years? Eight years. In the eight years of the history of Hello Gorgeous, I've never gotten so many requests for a makeup look than I did that day. I mean, my DMs were like, every single person was like, can I see this makeup look? What, do you, what did you use on your eyes? And the thing is, is that I used a single palette and it's a mini palette that costs $25 at Sephora. And this is my go-to palette. I use it for every day, all day, every day makeup looks. And it's just great. It's got every single basic color and it's got a mix of, um, matte and, and uh, shimmery shades. Actually, I should take that off so you guys can see Matte and shimmery shades, it's the Natasha Denona. So I'm gonna show you how I created that look, but we're gonna actually make this video a smoky eye for beginners tutorial because I get so many requests for smoky eyes and I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you some really great hacks and I'm gonna teach you how to line your eyes and use eyeshadow all with just one thing and just a couple of brushes and that's it. Let's do it. So if you couldn't tell, I already have my makeup on and I have deodorant balls under my arms, I just realized. When in beauty blogger of the year award over here. Okay, so I've already got my full face done. All I have left are my eyes. And when I started to record, I looked at, in the camera to Matt or on my playback screen and I was like, oh my gosh, this has to be what a lot of other YouTubers do because so many YouTubers start their videos off for makeup tutorials and their skin looks insane and perfect. And I start my videos and I look like Bleh. Gross. Anyways, it's done. So what I did was I set my lids with concealer and my base powder that I use on my T-zone and that's it. That's all I have on my lids right now. I didn't even use a, um, a primer actually, which that's up to you if you wanna use a primer. So what, I'm, what I did the other day was I took this shade right here, which is, and this is the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. And on the back right here are the colors. This is bronzage, this is coin, Q-U-O-I-N, coin it looks like. I took that with a fluffy shader brush, swirled it around, and all I did was, I don't have a mirror. Why do I not have a mirror? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look down so you guys can see, get a better view of what I'm doing. And I just deposited that color right into my crease. Make sure you knock off the excess off of your brush when you're applying eyeshadow because that's gonna help you from having fallout all over the place. And as you can see, I'm just doing windshield wiper motions. That's it. I'm gonna break it down super basic here because this is for beginners. You always wanna start out light-handed when it comes to eyeshadow because it's so, like you can always add, add, add color, but it's really hard to take away. So if you go heavy-handed, it's gonna be a whole lot harder to, to take that off and get it the look that you want versus starting lighter and building your color. So you always wanna build. And then when you're, when you're actually putting the shadow on your brush, I like to take it and just barely swirl around right there. Then, do you see the, the dust come off of that? Because we don't need that excess because it's just gonna fall on our face. And then, I like to grip my brush at the very end. And the reason that I like to do that is because it's less control, which means you're gonna be pressing and dragging your skin less. So just super light motions and we're just gonna build up that crease. Okay, so now that we've got a really beautiful crease color, we're not going for a cut crease. If we were, that would be a whole different technique. And if you guys wanna see a video on how to do a cut crease for beginners, let me know in the comments below because it's way easier and a whole lot less intimidating than you may think it's going to be. So I've got the crease built up the way that I want it. And honestly, this is pretty the way that it is. Like this palette is so great, especially if you travel because it's one palette and you can create about a million different looks with it. And it's great for beginners. And because of that price point, $25, and you get five beautiful shades that will be great on basically every skin tone. This is, it's just like, it should win palette of the year in my opinion. So when I was off camera, what I did was I actually took a little bit of extra shade on there or extra eyeshadow. And I kind of just really focused right here on the inside corner, just, Again, light windshield wiper movements because I wanted to build that inside crease so that when, I, if I'm looking at you, you guys, you can see like a shadow creating there. So it's really kind of carving out my eye. And if you guys have hooded eyes, that's going to actually help if you have the light here and then the darker there because it's gonna help create that contrast. 
So this smoky eye is not necessarily for hooded eyes. This is this is just a, a very basic. I don't have hooded eyes, so I'm not gonna be the best person to show you on myself. I could do that on somebody else though. Okay, so what I did next, I took a flat shader brush. I get a lot of questions about eyeshadows and about makeup brushes. Really, for most makeup looks, I feel like you need three brushes. You need a flat shader brush, which my favorite is the 239 from MAC. And then you need a pointy, fluffy brush because that really helps you get in that crease really, really well if you want more of a dramatic crease. And then you need a fluffy shader brush. All three of mine are dirty right now. If I was a good makeup artist slash beauty blogger, they would be clean, but I'm not. So let's move on. Um, then the other day what I did was I took this shade right here, which that color is bronzage. This is my favorite eyeshadow color of life. It is stunning. I've never even applied it wet. I can't even imagine what it would look like wet. It would look like probably the most gorgeous foiled eyeshadow look ever. Um, so taking a flat shader brush, just picking up some of that and I'm gonna pat that all over my lid. Again, knocking off the excess. I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid up to the crease, but not into the crease, if that makes sense. Okay, now that I've got that gorgeous bronze shade on my lid, I just wanna give you a little tip slash hack. I've learned to apply my makeup to my face, especially around my eyes, the way that I do my skincare, which is tapping. Because the more we drag, the more we pull our skin. And as I get older, I don't want any wrinkles. So I'm going to tap as much as possible to prevent any injury to the skin. Okay, so the rule of thumb under the eyes is you go darker to lighter. And that's what I'm going to do, but I'm actually going to set a base under my lid with this bronzage. And I'm just taking the pointy side of my flat shader brush, picking up some of that shade, knocking it off. And then I'm going to just lightly sweep it under my lower lash line. I'm gonna set this over here so that you guys can see better. That color is so beautiful. I'm telling you, I feel like this color, these, these colors would look great on any skin tone. If you are a little bit darker than me or you feel like this is not enough of a pop for you, this shade right here, which is called Sienna, is absolutely stunning and it's another one I think looks great on any skin tone, but it's a little bit darker. So if you guys need more of a dramatic shade, and I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna take a little bit again and I'm gonna do on the inside crease. And then we'll pick up some of the lighter and really make that inside crease pop in just a second. This is where the party starts. This is the fun stuff, guys. Here's where I'm gonna teach you the most life-changing makeup hack of your life. Okay, I'm being dramatic, but it is amazing. And it's how to make a cat eye with eyeshadow. And the reason that it's so amazing is because cat eyes are so intimidating. I get that all the time. Girls are constantly asking me, how do you apply eyeliner if you had a shaky hand or one eye turns out great and the other one turns out terrible? This is the easiest way, in my opinion, to make eyeliner look great every single time. It's to find the perfect shade of eyeshadow that will complement your eyes and a great brush. I use my eyebrow brush. This is the Benefit Brow Brush. And the reason that I love it so much is because it's so densely packed and it is phenomenal, phenomenal for applying eyeliner. So this brown color right here is called Soil. And if you can tell, it's like a ready brown. Without fail, every time I wear this as an eyeliner and I pop onto Instagram stories, I get more than one, probably more than 10, sometimes even more, messages about what eyeliner are you wearing, I need to know. And I always say it's this palette using the dark shade for my eyeliner. And I think that nobody believes me. I'm gonna show you right now. Oh, I got, I got lipstick all around my teeth. Have I had this the whole time? That's attractive. Killing them dead here, folks. <sighs> okay. Got my soil. What an unattractive name for an eyeshadow. Soil. Sounds like a dirty diaper. Okay. All I'm gonna do is just lightly pull my eye. Most people have to do this and it's probably not good for your skin. I know it's not good for your skin, but that's how I get my lines straight. So it just is what it is. And do you see what I'm doing? I'm just packing the color on 
and it's not pulling my skin at all. This color is so pigmented, it's wonderful. And I'm just picking it up as I'm going. Like I'm, you could even stamp it all the way across. Like it's so simple. This is the easiest way to line your eyes. It's unreal. Okay. So I got my eye lined, right? But I, I need that little cat flick there at the end. So figure out where you want your cat flick to be. I take the pointy end of my brush and I match it right to the where my upper lid matches my lower lid and I stamp it. That's it. And then I take this, pull it out, my eye out a little bit and then just connect the lines. And I have my cat eye. So this is going a little bit downhill for me, more so than I would like. So I'm just gonna take my brush and pull it up. How good does the eyeliner look? It looks amazing. So now I'm taking my pointy brush here, my pointy shader brush. This is a Belletium, Bedellium, Belletium, I can never know how to pronounce that, Belletium Tools, it's a 753, 83, I'm sorry, 783. There we go, now you can focus. Okay, so I'm taking the very tip of the brush right there, and I'm gonna swirl it around in my soil, my dirty diaper. Now, if you guys can see, that's a lot of pigment and I don't wanna deposit that much pigment, so I'm gonna knock some off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start right at the cat eye and I'm going to take that soil up into my crease just lightly, windshield wiper motions, and work my way up. Do you see how I added that nice shade right there? So I'm gonna do it again. And we're gonna just keep applying until we get the shade that we want. And then I'm gonna take this and mark down. So I'm kind of creating a V. So down and then up, down and then up, down and then up. And that really adds a nice darker corner. Okay, so let me look down so you guys can see the difference. Do you see the all of the dimension over here? There's nothing over here. This just really, I'm gonna look up, it really just, makes the side corner of my eye more dramatic and it's just once your lashes are done it looks amazing so i'm taking some extra here of the same soil color and i'm going to take the same brush and then just pull that right along the lower lash line just to darken that up and give myself some drama under my lashes and then if you feel like you need it go back in with the brush that you did your crease with originally and just blend it out if you feel like it's too dark I actually didn't feel like my was too dark. I felt like it was pretty nice. But that gives you that really nice smoky outside corner, outside crease. And you know, you can, the smoky eye is in the eye of the beholder. You know, like you can smoke as much as your heart desires or you can make it as light as you want. This is just for beginners, the easiest way to do it. So just down and then up and then down and then up. Okay, now that I've got my smoky eye, pretty well done and I can see a little bit over on this eye. Could use a little bit blending. You can never blend too much in my opinion. It's just gonna always look good. Okay, I'm gonna take this center shade which is Lum Lumino and just my pinky. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see that but the pigment is amazing. And I'm just gonna punch it right there on the inside corner of my eye. And whatever's left over, I'm gonna just lightly sweep it under my lower, or my brow. Okay, going to apply some mascara real quick and then we will be right back. Okay, I got my mascara on. I'm just, it's still a little bit tacky. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my magnetic lashes out. This will complete the look. I kinda made a mess with my mascara. If you see it on my eyes, I'm trying to let it dry so that it'll flake off easier because that is tip number one. If you make a mistake with your mascara, let it dry first. Using my go-to magnetic lashes, this is the Ardell number 001. I'm gonna link them below for you and I'll find them wherever they're the cheapest. I think that that's Walmart, but it varies between Walmart, Ulta, and Target, and Sally's. All three, all four of them kind of compete price-wise. These are my favorites. So I'm gonna curl my lashes one more time. Also, let me know, guys, do you wanna see a tutorial, or not a tutorial, but more of a video, like a, a talk through of all of my best lack lash hacks, tips, tricks, everything. I have a blog post that, you know, has all that information, but I'm wondering if a video would do better. Like I have my trick about 
the roots and like getting your lashes to stand up by the roots and stuff like that because I can't have lash extensions and I love that look. So let me know. But I'm gonna really quickly curl my lashes with the best lash curler in the history of lash curlers that costs $1.78. Yes, you heard that right. And then I'm seeing some mascara mistake over here. So I'm gonna just take my nail and flick that off and then go back in with a little bit of brown and touch up. Okay, applying my magnetic lashes really quickly. They come with um, one of these things if that makes it easier for you guys. I don't really feel like it makes a difference for me, but I'll apply it this way just so that you guys can see how they're used. You literally just feed them through the little teeth things and then connect them on. Ah! I don't like them, I'm gonna rather do it by hand. I have a whole video about how to apply magnetic lashes if you guys need it. And that is it. I love this makeup look. I love this palette so much. I love the magnetic lashes so much. I think that this is such a beautiful look that would look good on everybody. And honestly, so easy. The magnetic lashes, I've learned that the newer ones apply so much easier and so much better. I have had a couple of pairs in my bathroom. It's the end of May right now. I've had them since February, the beginning of February. That's how long I've been wearing them. So the newer ones apply a lot easier, but they can be worn for a super long time. So when you see that price tag, just know that's not a one-time wear. Like you can wear them over and over and over again and they look amazing. So, and they're a lot healthier for your lashes than lash extensions. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was so requested and I love this look. I think it's great. It's great for daytime. It's great for an evening. If you want to darken it up, you can. This palette has so many options. Um, if you wanted to go light you don't have to do the, the bronze on the eye. You could do the white on the eye. Not the white, but the, the that one. I mean, there's just so many amazing looks. You don't have to add shimmer at all. You could do it all matte, whatever you want. Let me know in the comments below what video you want to see from me next. I'm going to link every single thing I used in the description below and, and on my blog as well. I always do a blog post with my videos, just so you know, AngelaLanter.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe while you're here and make sure to turn your bell notifications on so you can be the first to know when I post a new video, which are Wednesdays and Saturdays at 3 p.m. Central Time. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Au revoir.